These days, so-called tech culture dominates social media platforms like Twitter, with everyone weighing in on hot topics and controversial news. But with modern technology amplifying the conversations, the comment section can quickly become a contentious place, and rarely more so than when a story like the recent conflict between Russian President Vladimir Putin and Ukraine hits our screens. So why are people so quick to weigh in on sensitive topics that they often have no knowledge of? And what results have their comments had? Backslash and backslash and recently, political commentator Bakery Sellers tweeted, Some of y'all went from COVID experts to foreign policy experts on the Twitter in a week. And it's true. We've seen some truly cringeworthy and bizarre attempts at weighing in on US foreign policy from armchair diagnoses of Putin to hopping on the bandwagon of the Zelensky thirst trap. We've even seen fan cams devoted to the hot Ukrainian leader, a phenomenon which sellers summed up perfectly, asking, not sure Twitter will survive a milkshake duck of this magnitude. Alas, it's true. Backslash and backslash not particular culprit in this wave of faux expertise has to be the rise of Seth Abramson, the notorious author whose response to the conflict was to, of course, sell his own book. But Abramson is far from the only one. Some are eager to distill the conflict into the lens of their own favorite science fiction series, comparing the war to Star Wars, Marvel, and Lord of the Rings. Then, there are the people making memes that show Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky photoshopped as Marvel characters, and those who are using merchandise with his image to make money from this conflict. Backslash and backslash and not stop there though, TikTok has been inundated with videos purportedly from the front lines of the conflict that actually show footage of old conflicts, scenes from movies, and even video game battles as if showing on the ground live footage. It's clear that this has only been created for attention and shares, with as little regard for accuracy or integrity as possible. As NPR reported, TikTok has come under fire for facilitating this spreading of misinformation, with many videos garnering millions of views that contain outdated or false footage, or remix audio together to capitalize on the fear of the public. It's clear, then, that social media is fast becoming a dangerous place to get reliable information on socio-political issues. Backslash and backslash, and so what do we take away from this? The moral of the story? It's that, during times of global conflict, it's important that social media users use this moment to take a step back and think about the content that they're posting on the internet before it's too late. War is hard to sum up in a hot take and certainly doesn't belong in a thirst trap.